May 23rd, 2023. We're gonna check on the status of the eggs here. A little carpenter bee visiting us today. We're gonna check on the status of the eggs in this nest, see if any of them are starting to look more like larva. While the mother's out foraging, now's the best time to do this. In this shot, you can see several eggs toward the center of the nest have already hatched and become tiny larvae. Uh, one of them at the top of the frame is actually quite active and moving. While on the outer ring of cells on the nest, you still have eggs that are not hatched. But the center eggs, there you have one that's moving around, one of the young larvae, brand new larvae. So this nest appears to be creating larva, healthy eggs. There's plenty of uh, nectar and water deposited into the nest, as you can see in little globes of fluid inside some of the cells. So everything seems to be going along just fine. She's provisioning the nest just fine. May 23rd, 2023. Here she's come back from foraging. In this clip, you can see the foundress or queen. She has her head down in the cell because she's doing a process called trophallaxis, which is mouth-to-mouth -mouth feeding with the larva. She'll go out and hunt insects in the wild, maluxate that meat, and that protein will be given to the baby larva. May 23rd, 2023. In this clip, we see one of our native wasps, which is a Polistes fuscatus, northern paper wasp, out foraging for wood. We'll give you a good close look at this process because this is a very important process in the springtime for wasps and really throughout the year. They'll go out and they will strip wood away from old weathered wood structures, decks, fences, barns, whatever they can find. And out in the wild, in more of a nature setting, they just use old logs and trees and plant material. But they take this fiber and they mix it with their bodily fluids and saliva and they create a paper mache material, kind of a paste, and that's what they build their nest with. Every cell on that nest is built with this material. And then other wasp species will actually cover their comb that you see that the larvae are in. That comb will be covered with a paper that they create that ends up looking like a Chinese paper lantern. Those are other species of wasps, mostly Vespula, like yellow jackets and bald faced hornets, that kind of thing. But these Polistes wasps that we're looking at here they only make combs, open combs. They don't cover it with other paper. Yet we still call them paper wasps because they build their combs out of this paper material as well. Here we have a native northern paper wasp collecting wood off of a fence. You notice how they work right down the grain. They follow the grain pattern. May 23rd, 2023, we're gonna look behind the thermometer today. In this clip, you can see that this nest is also doing quite well. Growing by the day, seems perfectly healthy, and the mother is currently out foraging at the moment. May 24th, 2023. In this clip, the following day, we caught the mother back on the nest, and she was very busy building more cells onto the nest, as you can see here. Looks like she's staying busy, expanding the nest. Probably has some larvae in there. Can't see it at the moment. We'll try to get something later. Maybe get the scope cam in there. Maybe we'll do that next episode in part six. But it looks like her nest is very viable, looks healthy and well-developed. 
and she's clearly working away on it, so all is well here. So this nest is doing great. This is one right behind the thermometer on the barn wall. Here on this same day, we went back and got a little more footage of the larva in the other nest. This is a Fuscatus nest underneath the barn eaves. Here we have some active larva. The eggs have clearly hatched. In this clip, we can see even better into the nest where you see several things happening in this nest. You see nice plump little brand new larva who have just recently hatched. And you see really, really tiny larva down at the bottom frame, the cell at the bottom frame. That one's really brand new, just hatched. And then you see on the outer ring of the cells, still yet some unhatched eggs. And we also see a lot of fluids and nectar deposited into the cells. So both nests are doing great here in part five. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in part six.